Welcome to UW Health. This video will help you better understand your kidney biopsy procedure. During a kidney biopsy, a small piece of your kidney tissue is removed. The biopsy is performed by a doctor who inserts a thin needle through your skin. The kidney tissue is examined under a microscope to help your doctor figure out the cause of your kidney disease. A kidney biopsy shows your doctor what is causing your kidney disease. It also shows how much scarring is in your kidney and how much of your kidney disease is reversible. A doctor will order a kidney biopsy if you have protein in your urine, if you have blood in your urine, if your kidneys are not removing toxins from your blood the way they should. There are several steps you should follow at home to prepare for your kidney biopsy. Do not eat or drink after midnight the night before your kidney biopsy. For seven days before the kidney biopsy, do not take blood thinners such as Coumadin, also known as Warfarin, Heparin, Plavix, Pradaxa, Apixaban, or low molecular heparin injections such as Fragmin or Lovenox. Seven days before the biopsy, you should also stop taking fish oil and any NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, naproxen, Motrin, Aleve, aspirin, or aspirin-containing products. You may take other prescription medicines with a small sip of water. This includes your blood pressure medicines. If you have any questions about your medications and how they impact your kidney biopsy, please call the UW Health Kidney Clinic at 608-270-5656. If you have diabetes, please call your doctor to discuss how your medicine dose should change. During the time you are not eating before the procedure, you should test your blood sugar more often. If your blood sugar level is low, less than 70 milligrams per deciliter, or you have symptoms, eat some glucose tablets or drink four ounces of a clear liquid with sugar. Always recheck your blood sugar levels to make sure it stays above 70 milligrams per deciliter. Unless you need to eat solid food to keep your blood sugar at a normal level, we may still be able to do the biopsy. If your blood sugar level ever gets too high or too low and you can't bring it back to normal, call your local doctor or diabetes doctor. There are several things you should expect and prepare for on the day of your biopsy. About three hours before your procedure, check in at the University Hospital Patient Admissions Office. After you check in, you will meet with the members of your care team. During this time, our doctors will explain what will happen, answer your questions, and ask you to sign a consent form. You will get an IV and have blood tests done. These tests are to make sure your blood is not too thin and it is safe for you to have the biopsy. We will check your blood pressure. To proceed with the biopsy, your blood pressure should be below 140 over 90. This is the reason why we ask you to take your blood pressure medicine as prescribed. The following information will help you understand what happens during your biopsy. You will be awake during the biopsy. If you are anxious, your doctor may give you medicine to help you relax. You will be taken to the radiology department. You will be lying on your belly and the doctor will mark the area for your biopsy. Local anesthetic will be used at the site of the biopsy to numb that area. The doctor will use ultrasound to guide the needle and avoid the big blood vessels in the kidney. Doctors will take a small piece of tissue out of the kidney. You will be asked to hold your breath when the needle is inserted in your kidney. Your doctor will repeat this step two to three times to make sure they have enough tissue. The entire procedure lasts 15 to 20 minutes. After your biopsy, you should expect to be admitted to University Hospital overnight for observation. We will bring you to your hospital room and you will be able to eat. There are a few things to remember while you are in your hospital room. You must stay in bed for four hours after the biopsy. Your nurse will check your blood pressure and pulse during this time to make sure they are stable. You might feel some discomfort in your back after the local numbing medicine wears off. Let your nurse know if you are uncomfortable and he or she may give you something to control the pain. 
your doctor will check your blood counts four hours and eight hours after the biopsy to make sure they are stable. You will go home the next morning if your blood counts are stable and you are feeling well. Recovering at home. Once you are home, you should avoid taking any blood thinners until your doctor states you can restart taking your blood thinners. You can restart taking all your other medicines. You may eat or drink what you like, but do not drink alcohol in the first 24 hours. It's important that you rest and take it easy for the first 24 hours. During this time, do not lift more than 10 pounds. You can resume your normal routine after 24 hours, at which time you may remove the bandage and shower. As with any procedure, there are risks. Pay attention to any changes in your body. Pain is usually mild and improves within 24 hours after the biopsy. You may have blood in your urine after the biopsy. This is because kidneys filter a lot of blood. In rare cases, the bleeding might be severe and you might need a blood transfusion. In very rare cases, patients might need a procedure to stop the bleeding. Pay attention to any changes so you know if or when you should call the doctor. You should call if you have any questions or concerns or you experience any of these things. You have more than one teaspoon of bleeding at the site. You feel dizzy, faint, or lightheaded. You have increasing pain around the site two to three days after the biopsy. You have severe back pain. You are not feeling well, including nausea, vomiting, and chills, and have a fever greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or you have blood clots or blood in your urine that is getting worse after two days. To reach the kidney clinic on weekdays between 8.30 a.m. and 5 p.m., call 608-270-5656. On evenings and weekends, call your local doctor or go to your local emergency room. Here are things to remember before your biopsy. Ask your doctor why you need a kidney biopsy. Stop taking all blood thinners seven days before your biopsy. Take your blood pressure medicines on the day of the biopsy. Do not eat anything after midnight on the night before your biopsy. After your biopsy, you should rest and take it easy for the next 24 hours. You should continue to avoid all blood thinners. Ask your doctor when you can restart them. You should restart all your other medicines. Please call your doctor if you are having trouble passing urine, see blood clots in your urine, have severe back pain, or are feeling lightheaded or dizzy. About a week after your biopsy, your doctor will call you with the results of your biopsy. You will also be scheduled for an appointment to discuss the results in person. All the information in this video is available in print. Ask your nurse for a copy or download it from uwhealth.org. If you have any more questions about your kidney biopsy, call the UW Health Kidney Clinic at 608 270-5656.